Hey guys, continuing our exploration of Arcade, let's check out the modifiers in the sampler kits. So in the sampler kits, we have sample loaded into the different keys from C2 onwards. But we also have some modifiers which we can use on top of whatever sample is playing. And those are on the black keys. Right, and we have three kinds, and before we dive into that, I just want to show you something else. When you are hovering on top of any of, of those modifier keys, you'll see that we have a menu, and there's hold and edit. So the hold means that once we play that modifier, it will just stick there, and you can play other samples with that. <laughs> Right, and you can release it again go on the top and remove hold and now let's dive into the details of the modifiers and we'll select edit and we are actually uh, jumping into the tweak menus or the tweak tabs and you can get here also by just clicking this tweak button and it will be just the same so we have uh, all kinds of different options to modify and tweak things but we are interested in the modifier edit and right now I'm selected on the first modifier if I'll just go to the next one or the one after you'll see that you can actually edit those and the three types of modifiers are resequence we have playhead and we have a repeater so the resequence maybe it's the most complicated one and what you can see here right now is that we have different slices or different markers and we are playing them in different order so right now the order is one four three two so we have four steps and we can just adjust that to seven, for example. And let's try it. All right, so the playhead just jumps between those markers and the speed of the uh, play or the uh, direction, we can reverse the volume, we can even mute and we can also set the length and we can set the envelope, the attack and the decay envelope. So I'm pretty sure if you play with that, you'll get the idea. But what we can do right now is just go and use just three markers. I'm going to hit OK. And so we have three markers. And I'm going to set the steps to uh, three, just for this example. And I'm going to set the different markers on the top here so one two and three and let's play right and i can just move things around and put number three here and actually number two will be right here so this is how it sounds so we are basically shuffling the different slices of that sample and we can set a few things uh, differently for example we can set this uh, speed to be one bar All right it doesn't really work here but it can make sense let's uh, move that to 16th All right and we can reverse everything So a few other things that you can find here, for example, we have the snapping to either grid or the transients. If you select transient, you, you will just have this detection here. Um, and then we also can set this to grid and set the parts, 16th, for example. Uh, something else that is really important is the release mode. So the release mode is 
basically what happens when we stop using the modifier. So timeline follow means that we are just going to go uh, back to the point as if we never used the modifier. Note on would be to go back to uh, the sample position just when we started using the modifier and note off will be going back to the point where we released the, uh, the modifier. Now let's check the next modifier that will be the playhead and the idea is that we are just playing our sample very simply but we can also reverse the sample and we can loop parts of it. And we have a cue point that when we are triggering this modifier, we will be starting there. And that's that little flag here. That means that uh, when I'm going to use that modifier, the playhead is going to be jumping there. That, that will be the white line that passes through. But while we are looping, we're going to loop between the start and end positions. So that's the basic idea behind playhead. And we can set the speed. Slow or faster. And we can definitely change the grid here to uh, just to help us uh, position the start and the queue and we can snap into the grid or transient as before. Next we have also another very interesting modifier, the repeater and let's see how that works. Right, so we have sort of a step sequencer on the bottom here with uh, eight steps well we can change that we can have four steps for example and for each one we can just set the volume right and we can set the grid sync here let's go with quarters and we can just repeat in reverse so depending on the position of our played on top of the sample that we are playing, we will be repeating uh, in that rate. So we can set this to be half. And each step will have its own kind of volume. We have the, uh, the direction, we can reverse things and so on. So that's the basic idea behind the repeater. And we can add more steps. And we can do this faster. And that is it. These are the modifiers. These are the uh, just uh, another way for you to shape the sound and do something of your own. Even, you know, most of the things in Arcade are baked for you. You should be going into the tweak menus and start exploring more options for you to, to do things your way. So I'll see you guys uh, with more arcade stuff. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions about any of the modifiers. I'll do my best to answer. And if you have any question about other things or things that you would like me to cover in arcade, let me know. And that's it. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks. Bye-bye.